I think the story about Clues is really about uh, the story about how to offer inspiration nowadays to uh, especially the millennial uh, consumer. I think if you look at uh, how Clues started, like uh, it was in uh, 2013 already, um, it was also with the rise of, uh, of social media, with uh, especially of the rise of Instagram. And um, what we actually try to do already from the start is to use uh, social media as a way to inspire uh, our consumer, uh, especially the millennial woman. Over the last couple of years we've been really focusing on a core market in Europe but um, at the same time we've of course uh, seen what's happening in Asia at the moment. It's incredible how, how fast these markets are growing both online and offline. Actually we, we see Hong Kong as the hub for Asia so it's actually a natural place for us to, um, to start our, uh, our, our first Asian office. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great place uh, to be for us and also uh, we feel that there's a great fit between uh, the Hong Kong culture and, uh, and our, our brand because um, it's, um, there's a lot of uh, life and a lot of energy in, uh, in Hong Kong always and this is exactly what we all, all, always strive for also uh, to express with our brand. Uh, and um, yeah, we feel that there is, uh, there's a, a very good connection there. So we are happy to, to uh, launch a jewelry collection indeed in Hong Kong. And uh, if you want to, uh, to go for Asia, I think uh, Hong Kong is the place uh, to go. Yeah, actually, what we what we what we notice quite uh, fast already on uh, on Instagram and all our social media is that people like to combine our, our watches with, uh, of course, with, with jewelry. So we saw a lot of wrist shots on, on social media. In most occasions, they are combining the watch with jewelry, uh, and um, this was quite interesting for us. And we were also using this um, many of these photos for our own advertisements. But basically, we were doing actually uh, advertising for other jewelry brands because there was always. Uh, um, a bracelet next to the watch. So we thought at some point, okay, why are we actually uh, doing this? And uh, let's uh, let's try to um, to dive into the jewelry ourselves. And this is really one of the of the um, things we really want to focus on uh, in 2018 as well to uh, further develop uh, our, our our jewelry collection. What we, what we always try to do is to offer our customers uh, unique products and so when we discovered that it was possible to, to use marble and also pearl as, um, as a material for dials, we were really interested in it actually and uh, with, with the marble it was actually also, uh, it became a trend on Instagram, we, we noticed that it is actually, uh, we, know, we, we saw it more and more often uh, in photos, in, in interiors, so we thought okay that's cool, uh, it's, a, it's really a material that we can use. Um, and um, it's unique, which is also quite important for Clues. So let's uh, let's go for it and give it a try. And it worked out uh, really well. We got a really a lot of good feedback uh, on these um, on these products. I think the um, the Clues woman is an uh, independent, strong woman. Um, and um, she uh, she is really uh, interested in uh, in to express herself through um, through her accessories and uh, and through uh, how she how she looks. I think this is something that we see a lot on social media, regardless from the age, whether she's 18, 25, or 35. This social aspect is also very very um, 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 present when it comes to, uh, to the Clues woman. So being independent, but social, I think that uh, would, would be a good uh, way to describe her. When we started with our brand, uh, Instagram was already growing and we were uh, always uh, trying to, to search for new ways to reach a target group. And when Instagram suddenly popped up, it was uh, for us qu uh, clear quite fast that this was a very interesting medium. It's very visual. Uh, engagement uh, there is, was very high, especially uh, uh, during the first couple of, of, of years. So uh, we, we thought, okay, let's, let's give it a try. Uh, and. Um, and it worked out really, really well. And it's also the platform where, uh, uh, where a couple of years ago suddenly the phenomenon influencer popped up. 
uh, you know, before uh, before uh, Instagram, be, uh, brands used to work with like celebrities, but there was all, always like a big gap between the celebrity or a big distance between the celebrity and the, and the customer. Uh, actually, uh, Instagram completely changed the, the rule of the game. People on Instagram really think that they know uh, the, the influencers, which is completely different than, than with all the, the celebrities before. And um, this created uh, a very actually interesting channel for, uh, for brands. we try to achieve is a seamless experience no matter where you encounter clues online or offline and experience should be top-notch so that's why we really uh, indeed pay a lot of attention to to uh, to the packaging to make it in line uh, with our brand identity uh, but uh, but that should also be in line with uh, what people see if people walk into a store or if, if people go to our website you know that should be there should not not be a disconnection in brand experience uh, between uh, what people see no matter where they encounter clues and it's also very technology driven by the way to to be able to uh, to offer your uh, customers a seamless brand experience but this is something that we believe that uh, the that will separate uh, in the end, the, the brands that will survive from the brands that, uh, that will not make it in the, in the longer run. In the beginning, we were just uh, distributing to parties if they, they, they want to distribute clues, we were okay with it. But uh, when we grew up, we, uh, we, we started noticing that, uh, that, cre that creating uh, a branded experience is, is really, really important. Uh, not only online, but especially also offline. And so we are actually um, putting a lot of uh, work at the moment in, uh, in creating this branded experience also in our, um, in our retail network. Um, also means that in some cases we had to stop with certain partners because they could not offer uh, the branded experience that, that we like. So uh, taking this experience into Asia, it's really important that we are not really interested in the size. We, we are not interested in the number of, 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 of retailers, uh, but more in, in, in the quality. So the quality should, should be good. So it's, uh, we, are, um, we are really have, uh, are having a strong focus on that at the moment.